All right, what do I got going on here? A little cutting stand. Got my cooking utensil. I got my rotisserie. Got my little lanterns. We're going to set up the off-grid uh, cooking station. Off-grid base camp. Yeah. I burnt some stuff in there the other night. So we are out here at our off-grid property. I'm going to be doing some work today. Um, I'm going to be working on the driveway, on the circle driveway over there on my other channel, Keeping It Dutch. So if you're not familiar with that, you guys can go check out the main channel. This is the second channel, the cooking channel. And uh, I'm just getting back into things. We've been, our busy, busy time has been like the last three or four months. It's, the summer is always my busiest time. And uh, I have had not had time to sit down and cook and do videos um, like I want to but we're gonna get back into it it's starting to slow back down for us and uh, we're back we're out here we bought some uh, we bought 36 and a half acres um, of it's gonna be off-grid we're gonna we're moving off-grid it's gonna be a, a slow process um, but I brought all my cooking stuff from the house not all of it some of it um, to set up out here because I'm gonna start doing videos cooking off-grid and um, I'm gonna try to get my um, offset smoker out here today if I can get my brother um, if my brother will come uh, come home sometime today I'll get him it's really heavy it's an older one um, but I want to bring it out here and set it up so when we're working out here and doing other things they're just hanging out we can do some cooking cooler weather is coming like in a week um, so that's my favorite time to cook outdoors obviously and uh, I love cooking over the open fire over coals um, so that's what we're going to be doing out here a lot um, so yeah, I just want to want to do an update video for you guys because I've been missing in action on this channel for about three-ish months, I guess. But I'm here to say I want to get um, Brandy and the girls uh, more involved too. I want to show the girls how to cook over open fire, show Brandy. So that that's going to be implemented. I got some plans. I got some ideas uh, for this channel that's going to be not just a cooking channel but it's going to be like a family cooking channel that's what that's the idea i got um this is not just going to be me in the kitchen anymore i want to incorporate the girls and my wife brandy um, but you can see I, I fell some trees um it's been about four days ago and i thought that we had a big storm i thought this one would come down uh, but i'm gonna have to get my pickup truck and pull it out and i'm going to be working on this road like i said on my other channel so you guys could check out that vlog um so yeah let me show you setting up camp then we'll sit down and talk a little bit about the future uh what it holds for us and uh, we're excited about it we're very excited about it. i kind of gave you a little skinny rundown on it um, but let's set some stuff up and then uh, we'll get into this video okay yep. all, right, all, right, all, right. all right let's get this stuff out got some rust on me hopefully that comes off it's leaking out of this this is more of a prop than anything until i can get it cleaned up my grandpa had this and he was going to throw it away and i said hey let me get that i have, I have plans to restore it um but i just haven't done it yet we got it has rust in it got it over my pants so i got i got some of my cooking stuff out here that i can cook over the open fire i got that pit and uh, i think that's what i brought today i wanted like i said i'm gonna go get that uh offset smoker hopefully today and bring it out here you won't see it in this video so obviously i'm already out here yeah that's all i really brought today uh, let me get my chair set up over here man we had gotten to the seed ticks out here like crazy um i had put some grain lints out and uh, then i moved a bunch of this debris over here and then we came out here did, did some work and the girls are over here in the hammocks we got over here and uh, they got into sea ticks like crazy hold on a second let me right, i'll be right back <sighs> okay so we're out here in the middle of the woods like i said let me get a drink i got this no sugar sports drink uh powerade <sighs> it's okay the gatorade is actually better this is like super sweet for some reason so it's probably the well, it's got to be the artificial sweetener. I have, this is, um, I'm on 
three weeks now with no sugar. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a big accomplishment for me um, because I love my sweet tea down here in Oklahoma. Um, I guess it's a southern thing because whenever we went whenever we went uh florida i don't guess you i don't know you might consider it southern but they didn't have any sweet tea we went to disney world and they're like oh yeah you must be from the south i'm like well, wasn't florida kind of the south i mean i don't know but anyways um i've i've been going with no sugar uh just trying to clean up the diet as much as possible when it comes to that um it's one step at a time obviously um there's been many times where i've went full blown no carbs no sugar lost a bunch of weight and then as soon as you get back on it you gain the weight back so now i'm just trying i'm starting out slow i'm doing just the no sugars right now and i really don't have a goal set as far as like how long. i just don't want it i don't want to do it no sweet tea no pops uh, no candy no ice cream stuff like that um, and i've been doing really really well and uh, i want to i want to lean uh go into uh less carbs you might say not no carbs but less carbs and uh, uh going that route but anyway that's that's uh, neither here nor there i guess you might say i just want to I, don't, I just had this in my hand. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about it. Okay, so the direction I want to take this channel, I mentioned just a little bit. I want, I don't want it just to be me in the kitchen or me straight out here. And that's, and that might be what you guys want. So you have to leave me some comments down below. I want to get the kids and Brandy more involved. And I would like to, I would like to do something a little different. I would like to go show you guys going and buying the food that we're going to be cooking on the channel for us so that might be something i do in the future too take my camera into the uh, grocery store and show you picking out the products and the price of products here um, in oklahoma where i'm at and then show you guys cook prepping and cooking it um, so yeah the cooler weather's coming in they're calling for highs of 70 like one next week for several days it's the taste of fall and it's my favorite time of the year and i'm sure maybe probably most of y'all too um, i absolutely despise summer in oklahoma it's always humid hot and just horrible I, I don't like it um the fall and winter are my favorite times of the year and uh so i'm looking i'm pretty excited that's why i was like man i better i need to get the cooking channel back going because that's going to be a big part when we're out here working on the off-grid property is i want to be cooking for uh i want to be cooking dinner um, breakfast and all that stuff while we're out here working i don't want to run back into town and, or just you know might have a ham sandwich here and there but i want to actually be cooking something out here and i thought you know, i might as well show you guys because I, I, that's that's one of my passions is cooking especially over the open fire so this plays right into um, what i love to do so i'm excited i'm excited to get the channel back going i uh, hope you guys have stuck with me the ones that are watching this you guys have and uh, i'm, I'm going to share this on my on my vlog today so that you guys can come back and watch it over here too if you haven't seen it yet but yeah so um like i said i have i have more outdoor cooking stuff a bunch of cast iron stuff i don't want to bring it out here yet um i don't have a shelter to keep it under keep it from rusting and stuff like that a lot of it's been in my garage and my shed at home um so yeah uh, i'll have to be one of the things i'll bring it as i as i come back and forth and then once we get our shelter built because that's what we're waiting on a well out here um behind me that's they're going to drill it right back there it was supposed to be maybe this weekend but now it looks like it's going to be pushed back another week at least um so i haven't even talked about that on my other channel and uh, so once we get the well done out here we're going to build a shelter and i say shelter is going to be a place where we could put the saw mill um the smokers um the cooking uh, stuff like that uh, so i don't want to bring any of that cast iron that's going to get rusted all up until we get that shelter built and that should once we get the drill the will the well drilled i'm going to go buy all the material or a lot of the material to start setting posts out here for the shelter and like i said that'll be all on the main channel keeping it dutch channel and uh so then then uh, things will start rolling over here on the cooking channel too so i'm excited i'm excited i hope you guys are excited um that i'm back over here and uh we'll see we'll see what the future holds for the dutch each channel um like i said i want brandy i kind of want brandy to kind of take it over because she has really cut her hours back at work uh since the girls are homeschooling and all that so i say hey you, you and um, Hayden and, and Hadley and Hope, you guys can start cooking and making videos on it. And she's and she talked, yeah, she's game for that. Um, we just got to get everything worked out. And I got to show her um, how to work the camera and do all that stuff. So it's going to be exciting. And I hope you guys follow us along over here on this journey. I don't plan on taking long breaks again. It was just kind of one of them things. Everything kind of just got really hectic. And uh, I had to put one of my projects to the side and it was this channel. But we're bringing it back. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little quick update. And if you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to Dutch yet, yet please subscribe. We're going to have a lot more content to come. And uh, we're really excited about it. So love you guys. We'll catch you on the next episode of Dutch Eats.